Yo, what's up everybody? This is FHRC Brony and um, I'm actually going to be doing another, um, not really another restoration, but this is like another addition to the restoration project I'm working on. Um, this is the Traxxas Rustler two-wheel drive. Um, this is the one that my uncle gave to me back in Christmas 2019 and when I got it, it was salvaged. So this was, this was mainly uh, used for parts. So now it's already one full car. It's all been restored. I got everything, all, all the essentials that the thing needs, including a radio, receiver, servo, ESC motor, and some other parts to get this thing rolling. Now, the next stage is, is the suspension. Now, although the suspension works just fine, the rear one's doing pretty good, but this one doesn't go back up. There's no rebound at all. Just uh, it just rakes forward. That's not good when, especially when you're bashing, especially when you're going up, uh, doing some jumps. So, what I'm going, and also I need to also replace the, get a gear cover for this. But aside from that, this thing does run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the the shocks out and refill them with some oil. It's always nice to have a little toolbox in handy. This is a, just a cheap toolbox, oops, cheap toolbox that I got from the dollar store for obviously one dollar. So it's basically a bargain store um, place. So all I need to do is to find, looks like, Phillips head. So all I need is Phillips screwdriver. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I know what you guys are thinking, since these are are doing just fine, why are you still going to replace it? Simple answer is, this: the oil in here is probably old. Well, actually, no, I don't think it's old. I know it's old. This thing has also been sitting in my aunt's, in my uncle's house, in the garage for years. So... It's to be on the safe side and get this car at least running, uh, new and running. I have to uh, replace the shock oil, which I still do have. I used 100 weight shock oil. Um, I am not going to do any some kind of uh, heavy bashing with this thing or do any some race, do any sort of racing, where I re where I'm required to actually tune up my suspension. I just need something just to play around. And also, just to add to my little RC collection. On closer in, um, inspection, it seems like it's not the spring, the shock itself, that's causing uh, causing the, the problem. Because the spring, look at, look at me compressing it and look at me compressing it. Goes back just fine. And um, just doing this, it looks like these these hinges is the one that's causing uh, the issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at those. I'm still gonna go ahead and I'm still gonna go ahead and replace the shock oil on this thing. Yeah, just taking the screw out, the hinge out. It feels stiff. Really, really stiff. I am curious what's what's in there causing this to yeah, it looks like it's rusty inside as well. <clears throat> Look how rusty that is. And uh, you can barely get a good good uh, uh, look at it. It's because the stupid camera is being blurry. Yeah, but that's rust that you're looking at. I went, yeah, that is 
it does really stuck in there. I had to use WD-40 just to finagle it with, uh, finagle with it. But it's out. Um, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and replace it with, with the shiny one. So, at least it moves out, moves in and out freely. And then I also got another one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Yeah. This one has a Phillips head. The other one has a hex head. Just real quick. Look how smooth that is compared to this one. It's like binding. This one, that's a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna do go ahead and do this side. All right, second one out. That's nasty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one and put it in. This one has the hex head. And look how smooth that is. That's a lot smooth. Hello, hello. All right, now I can go back to the main course. Oops, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rear shocks and replace all of them with shock oil. Okay, so I got the old shock oil out and quite surprisingly, um, despite this thing being sitting in a garage for years, the shock oil still look pretty new. The old one looked pretty new. Um, it did have some dirt and grime in it, but it was quite new. But I still threw it away because I'm going to go ahead and put some new, new oil. So I'm actually using a um, 100 weight shock oil from Losi. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting some shock oil. Okay. Just to be sure, I'm just gonna put this in here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rears first since it's a little bit easier for me to work with. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm not going to fill this all the way up yet because I know for a fact um, there's going to be some air bubbles inside. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to do this to the shock shaft. Oop, that's a little bit too much. But I'm going to do just do a little bit of movement here. It's kind of um, farting a little bit, so I'm going to go put a little bit more shock oil. So what I'm doing is I'm going to move this shock shaft up and down just a little bit and then as I'm doing it I'm also rotating the shaft at the same time because there's a in the piston there's a little hole so um, oil can pass right through so I'm just gonna go ahead and just rotate and move this thing up and down it's like a it's a Lather, rinse, repeat kind of process. Um, you put a little bit of shock oil, rotate, and move the shock shaft up and down, and then put more shock oil and do the same thing. And also, when you fill up the shock oil, all, um, not all the way to the top, but close to the top, what you're also looking for is to have that little concave 
the little concave uh, um, on the surface, that concave shape on the surface of the shock uh, of the shock body. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see a little bit of concave shape in there. It's kind of hard to see. I know, I understand. Hard for hard for you guys to see, but uh, I can see it myself. Um, if you're also going to be doing your own shock, uh, replacing the oil in your shock, and you you will see what I mean uh, if you're going to be working on your own shocks. Okay, refilled some um, my shocks already, and now. You get some rebound. I know it's kind of hard for me to do it with one hand. Yep, you got some rebound. All right, so here we are with these, uh, with the rear shocks installed. That's pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know, have have barely any room in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install. The front shocks now. Let's go ahead and there you go. Uh oh, something's not right. So, no, it looks like it's binding on something. Let me go fix that right now. Okay, okay, looks like I fixed it. Now, I am gonna go ahead and put the last, oh, oh there it is. <laughs> the last screw, shoulder screw up here. Okay, the new shocks, well, the new the shocks with the new oil are now in. All right, now we're back in business. Yeah, that suspension is pretty good. Now this thing is bouncing back. Yep, so is the back. Yeah, um, not the greatest setup I actually ever done, but you know, it does work just fine. All right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, we're done. Well, at least for me, I'm done. There's the Traxxas Rustler two-wheel drive, regular one, and my Project O Rouge. Um, that may look like a Rustler 4x4, but that's not. That's a Rustler two-wheel drive. See? Just has the 4x4 body on it. And tailing EXT tires. But yes. I'm done for now. Now what I'm going to do off camera is put some headlights and taillights on that Corvette C8.